These are a few of my favorite things. For today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a quick ramble. I thought it would be fun to just give you a quick little rundown of what 10 of my most repurchased beauty related products are. Now, in this fun little YouTube world, we get gifted a lot of things, but I also purchase and repurchase and repurchase a lot of my favorite things. And I feel like that's a really good gauge on what some of my favorite products are is when I keep <laughs> repurchasing them over and over again, something that I use up and I simply must have in my collection no matter how much comes along. Some of these things remain in my collection at all times. So this is some beauty, mainly skincare and a few other little tidbit related things. And yeah, I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a little narrowed down list of what some of my most repurchased products are. And I also wanted to say that a to tutorial on this makeup look is coming tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. I am I am living for the color. I'm obsessed. If you wanna see how I did this makeup look, stay tuned for tomorrow, baby. It's coming right up. I also applied a tan. It has been a long time, it's been a long time since I put a tan on. Are you proud of me? Okay, so let's dive in. I'm gonna start, well, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just going to ramble. First thing I wanted to mention, this is gonna be so obvious to you, so obvious. This is the Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Balm. I have been raving about this nonstop and this is my fourth tube. This is one of my most favorite discoveries from the year. Was it this year or just really towards the end of 2018? I cannot remember when I bought this, but I've been soaking this on my face ever since I purchased it. It is one of the most convenient things I've ever used. And for someone like, especially now, like when I'm going to the gym and it's consistent. And even in the winter when my skin is feeling extra super dry, this has been an absolute delight to have in my life. It's just, it's a stick moisturizer. So when my skin is obviously not caked in makeup, this is all I do. It's amazing. I wash my face after I sweat at the gym and then I put this on and when I'm walking home, uh, my skin is just so moisturized. I keep it in my purse throughout the day because normally throughout the day, like on a typical day, I'm not wearing any makeup and I get really, really dry around my mouth area and it's so nice to just have this in my bag and be able to wipe it all around. This is definitely only for those of you who really like the heavy, thick moisture and if you are looking for that, this is perfect. I recently just bought three backups because Sephora was sold out and I got scared. So here we are. <laughs> Now the second product that I wanted to mention uh, kills me. This, this product is the smaller jar, might I add. This is the smaller size and it retails for $187 Canadian, which is insane. It's insane, but it has been a product that I have been gifted and that I have also repurchased way too many times than my visa would like to admit. And that is the Fresh Creme Ancienne. This cream, like the Cora Organics, is a very, very thick, very thick hydrating cream. They also have a soft version. They have the soft cream version. I like the original, the big, thick bad boy. This is a product that is handmade in a monastery in Prague. When Lev and Alina said that, my love for this product just went so much more insane. So whatever the scientific process is that, that they use to create this cream actually has to be handmade. There's something about the wax and something, I can't remember exactly why. If you hear Lev and Alina talk, it's delightful. I love hearing their explanations for everything, but that's why it's made in a monastery because whatever the process is, it must be handmade. So this is one of my most favorite creams ever, ever, ever. No matter how many creams I'm using, I always have a jar of the Creme HGN because sometimes my skin, I don't know, I don't know. For those of you who have sensitive skin, my skin kind of goes in phases. So I'll have phases where one product is working really, really well for me and then it'll kind of just freak out. Most often when the change of season happens, I'd say like every three or four months, my skin just has a little bit of a, huh which is what it's having right now. <laughs> and the Creme Ancienne is one of the few products that my skin just loves. It eats it up no matter what time of year, no matter what the season, no matter what else I'm putting on my face, I always have a jar of this kicking around. All right, continuing down the line, the MAC Fix Plus Coconut or Original, whichever you prefer. I love the coconut, but always, always, I will have a tub jar bottle. <laughs> I always have a bottle of Mac Fix Plus on my table. Since they brought out the coconut, it's been the coconut version, but even when it was just the original, I just always have this. I always have it kicking around. I always spray it on my face. I'll spray it on my beauty sponge before I'm getting ready. Soak it all up. It smells delicious. It makes your skin feel amazing. If you apply too much powder or foundation, you can spritz this on your face and it kind of helps to settle in all of the makeup on the face. It is a miracle product, but I just love it. And this has been a constant in my makeup collection for at 
least, at least four years. And I always have a fresh jar, except right now because I'm still waiting for my Mac order. <laughs> and speaking of Mac, actually I have two more Mac products that I will talk about. The Mac brush cleanser. It's not the best thing for your brushes. It's just, it's just a big, big bottle of alcohol, but I am super lazy when it comes to deep cleaning my brushes and I always have this. This was a habit. When I worked at Mac, we always used the brush cleanser. This was pretty much the only thing we used like day to day cleaning our brushes as makeup artists at Mac. <laughs> it's just great, especially when you're doing color. Like I just did this orange look and I have these brushes and I'm just gonna put this on a little cloth and done, it's clean. It's so quick. It dries instantly on your brushes. You can pretty much wash all your brushes and use it that very same moment after you wash them. And for those of you who are lazy, this is great. And I always, always have a jar, even if I'm in like a deep cleaning mood and I actually go and like properly shampoo and soap my brushes, I always have this on hand, no matter what. Very, very much a repurchase product from me. The final MAC product, this is actually one of the only makeup products in this little stash, but it's the MAC Face and Body. Always, this foundation. I just repurchased uh, the shade C3. I've been using C2 all winter long and in anticipation for my fake tan and summer life. I purchased another bottle of C3. This has been a constant makeup product no matter how many foundations I have, which right now is way too many. There's no way that my face can use all of that foundation that I have in that drawer. But no matter what, I always have a bottle of MAC Face and Body. This is my go-to every day. I switch it up every now and again, but this is just like a, it's just my baby. This is my child. I love this foundation so much and I will use it until the day I die. Another makeup product that is very frequently sent to me. Listen, straight up like Smashbox is on it. Whenever they send this to me, they send like five at a time. Um, but I do use them a lot in giveaways. So it actually also ends up being a product that I repurchase a lot and that is the Smashbox primerizer, the photo finish primerizer. If you are a watcher of my channel, you know I use this no matter what. Sometimes I dibbly and dabbly here and there with other products, but for the most part, even if I am using other products, I will always have a primerizer on hand. I use this less of like a primer, more like a moisturizer. I go in with my skincare and then I always apply a layer of this on or I mix it into other things. I'll use like bronzy glowing shimmer products and mix it in with this. It just adds an extra layer of intense hydration and that's what I love it for. If you have dry skin, your skin will thank you dearly if you put this in your life. It is $50 Canadian, which is not cheap, and I grow through it way too quick. So dear Smashbox, if you could make a bigger size or just uh, change that price a little bit, that'd be, that'd be swell. <laughs> but it's amazing. They had a little boat trip in Vancouver and that was the launch party of this. And ever since then it has been glued to my face and I always have this on hand. Another product that I don't talk about too much on my channel, this was more so of like a constant Instagram mention, but only those who are OGs will, will know when I say this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Eye Gels. These are little cooling, high hydrating, brightening, awakening little <laughs> under eye gels. And I love this so much and I've mentioned this a million times. There are 60 under eye gels in here and I believe it retails for $60, something like that. It's around that mark, $60 Canadian, maybe like 65. You get 30 pairs in here. So each pair ends up only being $2, which is way, way cheaper than so many of the other under eye patches that are on the market. So it might seem like a lot at first, but these don't really expire. They last really, really well. I always have a box of them in my Fridge. Dan and I use them whenever we're feeling tired, which is always, and we need a little extra help waking up. We put these little under eye gels on and it just really helps to take away that puffiness that you get when you're super tired in the morning. And if you just want to kickstart your day, I love these so much. And I, I mainly love them because it's such a good deal in terms of price with other comparable products. They're super great. One of my favorite products, always have them in the fridge. Another thing I don't talk about too much are makeup wipes. And no matter what, I always, always have a pack of makeup wipes on my makeup table. I'm constantly constantly pouring crap on my hands, using stuff, spilling stuff all over the place. I always have makeup wipes, even if I'm not necessarily using them on my face all the time. I usually only do that when I travel, but I always have makeup wipes. And right now I've got the Neutrogena all-in-one makeup removing cleansing wipes. I think these are just the generic branded ones from Neutrogena. I usually buy these or the simple cleansing wipes, whichever ones are on sale. One or the other, they're always on sale at shoppers and I'll usually just buy whichever one is on sale. I always keep makeup wipes on hand. This is a constant repurchase product for me. Something I don't necessarily always talk about on my channel, but I always have the makeup wipes 
chilling around. Another product that I always have on hand, the Real Techniques Beauty Makeup Sponge. This is so great, absolute dupe. So many times over a dupe for the Beauty Blender, if not better. I love it because you get the pointy end on one side and you also have the flat edge for like blush and whatnot. It just makes that life kind of easier. This is such a great product. Always have a sponge. I've got two chilling right here. I just used this one when I was filming this. It's great. If you have never used a makeup sponge in your life, what hole have you been living in? <laughs> but for real, this will change your life. If you use anything kind of full coverage, medium coverage, whatever, and you want a product, concealer, or foundation to look like skin, this will do that for you. You do not have to struggle with blending it in. This just makes it look like magic. It makes the product really blend out evenly and beautifully over the skin. If you wanna use anything like cream bronzers, blushes, highlighters, anything like that, it just applies it beautifully. I love these so much. Always have one on hand. Even if I go through phases where I'm using my hands or my brushes, I always keep a sponge. So this has been a very, very, very repurchased product for me. And finally, the 10th product I wanted to mention is my fragrance love. Now I, as a YouTuber, get gifted a lot of fragrances, but when I find a favorite, I repurchase that favorite over and over and over and over again. Listen, my current favorite. In this house at the moment, including roller bottles, there are four bottles of Replica by the fireplace. And that has been one of my most repurchased perfumes, fragrances, whatever you wanna call it. In my life, this is my third bottle. Many roller balls as backups for travel. I am obsessed with it. It is such, such a versatile scent. It's a unisex scent. Dan loves it. We both smell the same. If you guys ever meet us in real life, give us a sniff. We're probably both wearing this. <laughs> It just smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. It's a very warm, comforting scent. When I first got it, I thought that it would only be a winter scent, but I find myself dousing my body in it no matter what time of year. It is just my favorite fragrance always. It's so good and I really want one of you to uh, win this and have this in your life because it's so delicious. I also realized I'm gonna do a little bonus number 11 because I completely forgot, but Bioderma. <laughs> Bioderma micellar water. This is probably a very obvious, maybe not that obvious one. I don't talk about this a lot on my channel, usually only when I'm talking about things related to skincare. But even though right now I'm on this like, you know, a Moravixa little peachy micellar pads thing, no matter what, I always have a bottle. I always have a backup bottle. I always have a travel size bottle of the Bioderma micellar water, my most favorite, most staple makeup remover ever. And people always say that the Garnier micellar water is a dupe and it is, it is a dupe, but it's just not as good. It's not as good as the original in my opinion, so. And that, my friends, concludes this 10 slash 11 of my most repurchased products. I just wanted to do a little roundup for you, some things that I don't necessarily mention all the time on YouTube, but things that are constants in my little beauty world. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your most repurchased products are. What things do you keep buying over and over and over again? No matter how many other products may accumulate, let me know in the comments down below. And I did just wanna say that this, I'm gonna attempt making a tower here. One of you will win some of my favorite products. This pile, the Peter Thomas Roth Under Eye Gels, Fresh Creme HGN, Smashbox Prime Riser, Cora Noni Glow Face Balm, the Replica by the Fireplace, the Neutrogena Wipes, and the Bioderma Micellar Cleansing Water. If you would like to enter to win seven of my 10 slash 11 favorite most repurchased products, all of these were purchased by yours truly. I really wanted you guys to have an experience of some of my favorite things. Check the description box down below on how to enter. Check the description box down below if you would like to enter to win some of my favorite things. Let me know if you have tried any of these, any of my favorite things and what your thoughts are on them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in tomorrow's video for a little toot on this makeup look and another Everyday May video. See you then, guys. Bye.